Welcome back to Real Jamaican News. Guys, the mystery surrounding Usain Bolt missing billions is deepening because two CEOs of Stocks and Securities Limited said they have no knowledge that Bolt was a client there. Zachary Harding, who was CEO for three years from 2019 to 2022, said he did not know that Bolt was a client there and that he had one of the biggest investment portfolio in the company. He also said that Bolt's name never came up in any management meeting. Another CEO, Lamar Harris, who was CEO from March 2018 to February 2019, also said that Bolt's name never came up as a client. Bolt's money went missing and all of a sudden, everybody dunce and don't know anything that goes on in the company. Everybody is taking away themselves from the problem. What Zachary Harding is saying is that Anne Panton was Bolt's wealth advisor and she was the one who managed Bolt's account. Hence, she is the one who is responsible for Bolt missing money. Jean Anne Panton gave a sworn statement dated January 7th and listed clients whom account she took money from. And Bolt's name was not on that list. So what they're saying is that Jean Ann Panton is responsible for all of Bolt's money. Jean Ann Panton is guilty, but the CEOs and owner is also guilty. What they want us to believe is that Jean Panton took Bolt's money and pocketed it. But Jean Panton was representing the company at the time that the money went missing. So even if she was the one who took the money, she was representing that company at that time. So at the end of the day, the liability still rests on the company. I don't care what these CEOs want to say. They were not there at the time. They were not aware. Ignorance is no excuse under the law. But I am waiting to hear what Hugh Crosskey, the owner of Stocks and Security Limited, have to say about all.